so let's see how to write a program for traffic lights in keel by using embedded C program so go project tab and select the option new project so now our project name is traffic lights this is the window for selecting your device from different manufacturers so you have to choose the manufacturer name atmel let's click on plus mark you will get the list of devices choose the device with a specific series and once you select the device it will show the internal features of your device click on ok and this is a startup code warning click on and to write the program in embedded C you have to open editor so if you want to open editor window go file tab and select the option new and you have to save your text editor before writing program so go file tab and select the option save and what's your program name it's a traffic lights you have to save your program with dot c extension compulsory now so now you can write your program this is the header file name for all 51 families or gg 51h and declare your traffic signals connections so for which i open you are connecting your red signal and for which i open you are connecting now i connected red signal with p1.0 i open and yellow signal with one point one. And now we are developing traffic signal program for one side signal. And if you are looking for four multiple ways, uh, you can uh, see in the next program. So now we are writing program for simple one traffic signal. Green. So these are the three general colors followed by traffic signals. Red yellow green this is p1 point and these are all signal declarations and where you are connecting your signals in the microcontroller's hardware And now start your programming with main and in between signal to signal if you want to take course generally red to yellow and yellow to green uh, they will follow a specific time period like 30 seconds 10 seconds or 15 seconds like this but this is a simple program with the follow approximate time delays for delay generation I am using self for loops in the C programming for that I am taking a variable i as an integer data type and initially I am making all signals status as 0 that means all signals in off state and now I am entering into the infinite loop followed by while now so what is the status of what signal you want to operate so I will turn on 
right so once you turn on your red signal so you have to wait some time delay with a approximate value by assigning your i variable in the self for loop so i am giving you 60000 because of the 60000 value are assigning for this i the same for statement which is executing 60000 times because of this execution it which will generate some time delay so after red uh, which signal you want to operate we are going to turn on yellow right so before red yellow turn on first turn off the red signal and then turn on your yellow and if this delay is not sufficient for you uh, you can repeat again one more time is for loop or by the same for statement and now so now this hello is on status right so hello should be with very less time delay so i'm assigning uh, this 30000 so because generally a uh, red signal will holds more time and yellow signals will holds some time and after yellow then what signal you are expecting so turn off your yellow and turn on your green and this green signal should be operated with more time delay so for that again i am taking a for statement with the same time delay so once you turn on green so for next repetition let's turn off your green again red will turn on so this should be run continuously because of this while loop so this process will executes in a repeated way so after writing your program just save your statements and if you want to compile this program and if you want to run this program on a specific target device just select your target one and click on this plus mark you will get source group right click on the source group one you will get the option add files to source group one now what's your program name it's traffic lights so this is your program traffic lights and close so that the file is added or not if you want to test just click on this plus mark it will show whether your file is added or not so after completion of this you want to see the errors and warnings present in the program go project tab and select the option build target so now it will show the errors and warnings of your program so if you want to see this output in hardware simulation then you have to create hex file so for creating hex file this select target one and right click on this and you will get options for target target and give the crystal frequency as 11.0592 and highlight this option use on chip row and in the same window choose output tab and select create hex file go on okay build it so this is the build symbol uh, you can go through this button 
otherwise you can go project tab and build target so now it will show the hex file path for your program let's minimize this and open your hardware simulation which is produce now so pick the objects from your library by click on this p symbol and whatever the components you required just choose the components now for this project you need microcontroller and traffic signals so if you type it traffic as a keyword you will get animated traffic lights just close this pick devices window and select your controller and place your traffic lights on the design tool so connect as per embedded C program you connected red as P1.0 and yellow with P1.1 and green with P1.2 so after doing all this there is a simple connections required if you want to see the hardware result after connecting your signals with your IVO microcontroller IVOS just double click on the IC it will ask for program file path and click on this folder symbol uh, you can choose your hex file in a specific drive from specific folder in the computer now my hex file name is traffic lights choose that file and give the same clock frequency as 11.0592 and click on ok so if you want to see the result just use this play symbol you can find the signals operation the red signal which is if you want to see how much time it is taking you can see the response for how many seconds which is changing its logic you can find here so with a very short time of yellow which is turn on and which is shifted to green again and after green again uh, which is shifted to red so if you want to Im increase the time for this response you can go through this you can change the values in the C program so if you are looking to more time as hello if you do any modification save this program and build it and you can see the hardware design just play you can see the difference now this LO will stay some time and which will shift to so you can find clearly LO or no now this is a way you can write program for multiple signals one for east west north south directions this is program for one traffic signal and if you are looking to develop this program with exact times that means for exact accurate 10 seconds if you want to shift or 30 seconds if you want to shift you have to program you have to use the concept of microcontrollers timers feature from the device this is a simple program with general for loop delay generation thank you